Stella, but to my friends, including you, 3D, you guys can call me Guido. Well, I hope you like blood. I hope you like guts. I hope you like wrestling, because we've got the best for you right here. You're going to see the likes of Cactus Sack squaring off against Lama Nama Numi. And not only that, folks, after that, we got more action coming at you with the Mushroom Boys squaring off against each other. Each other? That's right, Ponderosa versus Swedenhouse in the Big Brother versus Brother Glass match. Hey, but that's not all. Let's have a tag team match. How about Deadly Fred and Lama Nama Numi squaring off against Cactus Sack and, uh... Leatherface? Hey! And that's not all. Then we got the big grudge match coming at ya. We got Lama Nama Numi with his partner facing off against his partner. Deadly Fred? That's right. Deadly Fred. Brother Ladies versus gentlemen. brother. Friend versus friend. Doesn't matter here, folks. No matter. This is the death match. The death match? Hey, if they used to be tag team partners, now they're gonna fight each other. Why not fight each other in the broken glass thumbtacks? Hey! But let's talk about our main event. Let's we talk got about it. Cactus Set, survivor of the death tournament, squaring off against 67-year-old drunk Terry Flunk. And that's not all, folks. Also, periodically through the whole tape, we're gonna be viewing in just a little bit though at a time. We don't wanna overload your brains now with our goodness. Okay, the Battle Royal. The SWF Battle Royal? That's right, the big $25 pot. $25 goes to the winner of this big one, baby. That's right, all the big stars in this one. We got Malicious Mike. We got Big Larry. Big Larry. We're going up against the Skinny Wolf, too, right? Oh, man, Hazel sparked the mess, brother. We got them all in this I one. I can't believe it. You know what I'm ready to do? Huh? I'm ready to get to the action. Let's go right now to the action and wrestle. Ladies and gentlemen, Stranglemania! That's right, folks, Stranglemania! And look at that, what you're looking at right there is a spiked bed, death bed of nails. That's right, you pick your opponent up and you smash them down on the bed of bloody nails, and that's how you kill them in the death match. You're looking at Cactus Sack, one of the dirtiest players in the game. One of the dirtiest and one of the strongest and most fierce. You know, uh, the fans here in uh, the Orient, they uh, they love this man, but I put my money that they came to see his opponent tonight, Guido. That's right, none other than Lama Lama Numi. Lama Lama Numi, the That's Lama right. Lama Maniacs are running wild in the crowd tonight. And there he is, the Lama Lama Star. This upper body strength, ladies and gentlemen. 54 inch pythons, a rock washboard stomach. This man's ready to kick your fucking ass. That's right, and you can see on the screen right there it says ass kicking time. And there he is, Cactus Sack and Lama Nama Numi. These two go way back, Guido. Oh man, they've been feuding for years. I mean, they feuded all over the states on um, fucking Wyoming University. I it started a long time ago, Cactus Sack's father, uh, 
Strictly balls. He used to wrestle uh, Lama Nama Numi's father, Loma Noma Mommy. They went back to some of the most gruesome death matches I've ever seen in my fucking life. That's right. Well, now we got the match starting here. I wonder what kind of match we're going to have here. It's going to be a clean match because Lama Nama Numi is definitely the clean match. Clean match? These people don't want to see a clean match. These people want to see flesh flinging in all directions. And they're going to see it right here. This is a strangle fucking mania. That's right. All right, now we got the lock up here, and uh, he's backing our uh, sack up into the corner here, and uh, hey, oh, punked him out like a bitch in front of the forty-five thousand. That's right, strong, you see honey. him flinch like a little bitch there. Forty-five thousand strong. Cactus Sack obviously has been in a couple battles uh, previous to this one here tonight. He's got tape on his uh, shoulders, tape on his forehead, tape on his ass. I think he's ready to war tonight. Well, that's where my money's at. No, I don't think we're gonna see such a clean. Break right here, uh, Fuck three no! Days. Not out of sack! Sack's no puss! I died, but maybe a little Come bit on, puss. Sack. Maybe a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Came in through the back door and just took the ring to stomach! I love it. Watch this here. Uh, I, I don't think we'll see too much amateur style wrestling in the ring tonight here, uh, Harley. I think we're going to see blood. I think we're going to see spikes. I think we're going to see bad way around the neck of Lama Nama before my sentence is over. That's right. Definitely not no scientific shit here. They're going to be seeing punching them right in the face. I mean, you know, yeah, fuck sometimes it's fake, but not here. You know you can't fucking fake spikes in the ass. Wow! Oh my god, right in the eyes! Oh, oh shit! Dead. Obviously, uh, uh, Lama Nama wasn't expecting a, a mesh of Broadway or stuck in his ass. I don't think so, he let on his arm! Jesus, the shit! Cactus is like a legend in this particular sport right here. He's used to this, uh, uh, rustling, wrangling, fucking type match. Oh, oh shit! Get out of the back and see the toothless! It doesn't even fade the toothless bastard! He came bouncing right off on a clothesline to the neck, uh, Lama Nama 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 That's right, and Lama Nama Nama down and, uh, Oh, what's those cockers trying to go off for that part of spikes? You know something, Guido? Those fucking cameramen, they've got to back up. They don't know who they're dealing with. This is Cactus Sack, goddammit. He's no puss. He, he'll be like grab one of those cameras and shove it up their fucking rectum. I've seen it before. I've seen it. Now, the Cactus Jack here. Cactus Jack. Oh, oh God, you, know, you can't go amateur style with Lama now. Oh, there goes that bitch. A uh, headbutt made famous by the uh, the junkyard dog there in the uh, uh, the, the late eighties. The junkyard headbutt, uh, but but uh, yeah, Cactus oh, Sack has been no to so grab the cameraman and throw him into the bar bar. Ah, look at the back and stick it in. Let me let me tell you something, Guido, about the head of uh, Lama Lama Numi. Okay. Solid, solid fucking bone. All the way through. One of the hardest heads in front. Well, you don't think that's going to hurt. But the flush is soft. Get that camera off him. He's doing something there on the floor. We don't need to see that oh, action. Right, right, right. Let me tell you something. This man's head has uh, been known to crack brick. I, I said I'm break a fucking on coconut open. That's right. And uh, there's a particular hairstyle famous in uh, the Orient still. Now just uh, start spiking. Look you know. at this. Check the segment. He's carving his name in that head up. Oh, oh God! Right at the ass. Uh, oh. Lama Nama taking advantage of the That's situation. Right. Oh, across right the other arm. Cactus Sack is uh, taking a beating of his life. Oh. Those are spikes, ladies and gentlemen. This is too big. I'll just put a Cactus Sack's arm by the spikes right there. On the corner, this is despicable. This that's just not right. Look at it bleed. Look at the blood running. Well, that's real arm. shit. That's not no fucking razor blade. Push the referee. Shit. Where's the referee? He's got die. Uh, he's allowing Nama Nama Newbie to bring in that razor mesh of death. Into the they gotta be allowed. This is a death match. Yeah. Hey, that's why they call it the death yeah. match. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Those rules aren't written in the books. This is a legal form play right here. This is a legal play on the part of a Lava Dava Doobie, and I want this stop. Well, let me tell you something. There is no uh, legal books. There is shit on this. It's a death match. Oh, go! There had to have heard it. There you go, you fucking asshole. You bring it in and you got it stuck to your ass. You should have left it out of the ring, you wuss. You wouldn't have had that barbed wire mesh caught on your nuts. 
One, right, two, two, and three. Oh, no! God, so close. Look at Cactus Sack is pissed. He's like, fuck that, ref. Count quicker. I had the three count, you fucking asshole. I want to make a uh, note to uh, Cactus Sack's uh, boots that he's right, got in the ring the there. Uh, those are definite uh, Roskin Tuska uh, cowboy, uh, boots. cowboy boots there. Uh, obviously, a uh, character from the uh, south. The southern part of the country. Well, yeah, I mean, he has the deep uh, southern roots there. You know, um, you know, but he, you're not seeing any southern hospitality oh, in no, this ring, Greedo. You're seeing the uh, southern brutality here as he's trying to throw him out at the spikes. What you're seeing right here is called uh, a southern ass whooping. Ah! Yeah, it's stuck in his arm for real. Somebody oh, get his arm yeah. off the Ranger, man! Oh, so God. the spikes are sticking into his... Get out of his fucking way! I swear those fucking photographers, they need their asses kicked. I'm gonna kick their fucking ass! I'm gonna go down there and stop that camera up their fucking ass! Leo, I want to make a point right now! Outside of the ring is where Lama Namanumi is most dangerous because of that head. He can headbutt sack onto one of the spark, but he's gonna slam him on the mouth! Puss. He could have slammed him and stuck him there and got the three count with his ass. You know, he could have, but cack the sack. No! That's what he's doing out of the oh, ring right shit. here. You see him putting the spikes on the Lama Nominee? What the fuck is he going to do? Listen to the fans. They love it. They want to see it. The dog's gone. Oh, shit. No, how the fuck are you going to fake that, folks? Look at that. He's crying like a woman. Look at that. Yeah! Well, you'd be crying too, Guido, if you had a spike stuck in your ass. This is, this is Stranglemania, and only the best can, quit crying like a bitch, I'm trying to prop the show, this is Stranglemania, and only the best can wrestle here, only the best that can battle, that can tough grudge it out, that can roll around in the, the nails, the spikes, the glass, and you're seeing two men that are able to do all of that, Guidi. Oh, but these two men right here definitely have the credentials to be. In this death match, as you can see, they take the spikes in the ass, they take the barbed wire on the fucking neck, and they just keep coming back at each other. Just right. Don't, don't the, try to head on him, you asshole. fucking idiot. Look at that! There goes some of those stone heads. Bang, bang! No to run through walls, run through oh, into the spike. So that's the biggest thing you fucking head by Lama Lama Nubi, you get a piss, and you're gonna get your ass kicked. I've wrestled both of these men in my lustrous. No! Oh, oh, to his arm! Oh, no! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh god! What the fuck? This shit just fucking stretched like rubber! You know something, you know something, Guido? I've wrestled both of these men in my illustrious career and uh... <laughs> yes, he probably ass. flipped out his ass! And I'll tell you something, I've received one of those headbutts there from my Lama Nama Numi, and they sent me whirling! They sent me flat. I didn't know my name from my ass, Guido! And I'm telling you right now, Cactus Sack has withstood like three or four of them and he's still here to fight! That's right, uh... No, uh, Lama Nama Numi's not for those headbutts! Oh! Those headbutts have put many wrestlers out of their careers. I mean, the concussions, the fucking brain contagulations, the cerebral compulsions. That's what I'm saying. You have to watch out because if he Bingo. catches you with one of them cranium knockers, you're liable to fucking crack your skull one, from your nose two, to your ass. Three. No! Three. That was three. You know what? Uh, Nama Nama Numi has got a uh, special ring attire. He's uh, wearing the uh, Wrangler uh, jeans there. That's right. The, uh, the, uh, Fucking the, the Jordash the, chick jeans that's right. uh, to protect him from the uh, spiked uh, razor wire, but I don't think it's doing a good enough right job. Here. I mean, we got one, one two, two, three. Oh, no. oh, no. oh God, this he's got to cut Get the razor wire off his balls. That's not allowed. That's I'm giving him a ring, Greedo, and I'm going to set shit straight. I don't know what's wrong with that referee. Maybe he needs me to take his ass a little bit. Take it easy, 3D. That's why he's wearing the chicks to prevent shit like that. It was sticking into the fucking... Pants over his balls. Shit, jeans can't stop razor wire. Look at it. He's pissing him off. Whoa. You don't fucking head butt Lama Lama Numi, you idiot. We've been telling him this this whole time. I'm telling you, I, I don't know. Maybe there's nothing left inside the skull of Cactus Sack. Because why else would somebody want to sit there and go head to head with this fucking man? His brains must be mush. Oh, Look shit. Look at it. Just grab it and pull it back into that Referee, pile. Referee, wake up. One, two. No, you can't no, hand fuck sack no. like that, you fucking...
fucking idiot. You gotta knock Zach out to pin him. You can't pin him while he's conscious or you're not gonna get shit. We know he thought he had him knocked out. Jesus Christ, he gave him four of those head noggins. Those head noggins will send any man out on his ass. What? Oh my God, the front face DDT right onto the face of the bar boy. Referee, one, two, two three. They he got right him. Lama Lama Numi, you don't need the knockout. He's a big bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, victorious once again, Cactus Sack in the name of his father, Brickly Balls, the raised arm, that means victory in our first death match here on Stranglemania. That's right. And I, you know what I'm ready to do? I'm ready to enlighten our audience here with some of the big SWF $25 battle round. But what's this? What's Lama Lama Numi well, here? Before we go to the battle round, he's saying something he's saying. He says, uh, if you sell my shirt, I want a cut of the fucking money. Yeah! All right, yeah! He throws it in the crowd. Let's see what our Cactus Sack has to say about all this wild shit going on here. Satu? Satu? How much more... This is my night, not yours. It's not your night, so you get that camera out of my face, but not before I say the next time Terry Funk we separate the men from the boy. No, no, we don't. We separate the men from the old bastards. You take a look at a real man, Terry Funk, and when I'm through with you, I'll take a look at a real dead man! Oh, back up, chicken boy. He says, uh, Cactus Sack, me and you win a good 15 minutes, and I'd be less than a man if I didn't admit that you kicked my fucking ass. I'm a big puss. Look at my face. My face is ridded with the scars of your fist. Okay, well, let's go to the footage of the SW Battle Royal. Whoa, this is it, the big $25 pot life from California, the SWF Battle Royal. And that's right, I can't believe this shit I'm seeing right here, 3D. This, this shit, look at this big guy right here in the corner, the big fucking fat white naked guy in the black fucking underwear. That's uh, the Big Larry. Big Larry, and he's fighting the man with the big round fat beer gut. That's, that man is known as uh, Malicious Mike. That's right now, in the opposite corner, you see a uh, Hazel Spark in the uh, black, black panties. Uh, he was just getting his ass beat by uh, Richie he's, Surf Boy. Right, now he's pounding. I don't know where he's going. And then you see over there in the gold mask wrestling Hazel Spark there in the gold panties and the uh, the mask on. You know who that is, don't you? Who is it? That's the mysterious mole. That's right. And as you can see right now, Surf Boy Richie punning on the skinny wolf. Right, Surf Boy Richie with the uh, light blue panties. We'll get back to that later. What this is right here is the fucking death oh. match between the two brothers. Boys. That's right, Ponderosa versus Sweet Nuts, and you see Ponderosa coming in and pounding the fuck out of that fat pudgy ball and shit, Sweet Nuts. I can't believe how fucking fat these two big fat butterball sweaty fat balls of shit are. That's right, look at these fucking fat blubber tubs of asses. I can't believe he's trying to knock them off me to the glass. Fat they may be. But two of the most aerial, fat, pudgy fucks I've ever seen in my life, we know. That's I've right. ever seen in my life. Well, I'll tell you, you can take a skinny guy like the skinny wolf, and that motherfucker can't even jump out the top rope. But you take one of these big, fat slops of fuck, and they do three fucking flips off the top rope and land their fat ass on their opponent. One, two, three, pen. You know something? This is no ordinary. No. Whoa! You oh, big, fat, fat, sloppy piece of shit. Get it. You know what? This match is no ordinary match. This is a glass match. Glass for your fat ass. That's, That's right. what it's there for. These two are normally a team called the Mushroom Boys. They're going head to head, belly to belly, ass to ass, fat to fat, to settle a score right now. We're seeing it live on Stranglemania. That's right. You can see Ponderosa taking Sweet House's fat fucking ass and trying to smother it into the glass. If he hits that glass, Guido, 
what this capacity crowd is going to witness is chunks of fat spraying all over everybody. Well, what we're seeing now is a chair upside the flabby back of Ponderosa oh. on the head. He's hitting him in his fat ass with that steel chair. Oh, oh he broke the fucking seat right out of it. You know something? I like these guys better as a team. I don't know why they started fighting each other. They're gonna kill one of the other guys in this fucking match. There's the glass right there. Already broken from the big fat floor of fucking Ponderosa. Well, he was hanging over the side of the ring. Apparently a lunk of fat must have hung down and broke the glass or Seeped something. right out of a hole in his fucking curly boot. Because it didn't actually, uh, they didn't hit it yet. Because when they hit it, blood will fly. Lard will fucking spray. It will be a nasty sight, Guido. It will be a nasty sight. That's right. Uh, I had uh, unconfirmed oh. rumors, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're true that uh, Sweet Nuts when he was a child was called the big fat fucking marshmallow bag of fucking egg shit. That's boy. right. And uh, in our uh, Ponderosa there was uh, called the big fat round fucking mushroom fucking tomato flop a fuck boy that's what they called them i don't know where you got that information but that's why you're a good sports journalist i want to make a point now you see uh sweden house with his boot on ponderosa's fat ass sweden house uh, appears, appears to me to be uh a round tubby lubby fat lardy fucking egg that's right would you say the same no i'd say that definitely and he's trying to his big fat round red fat full of shit tub ass fucking fat fuck fit brother into the glass right now they call his brother tomato boy because he's round and fat sweaty pudgy sticky like a tomato and when he hits the glass splah, you see tomato fly all that's over right he's full of this Whoa, jelly that nasty boy goes shit. over the ropes well, I can't it takes a tremendous uh, degree of agility just to flip over the ropes like that, but I'm fucking 895 pounds. No! A barbed wire. Ponderosa on top of things here tonight, handsome Harley. Ponderosa apparently uh, taking advantage of the barbed wire, trying to, uh, shall we say, dice through the fat. With you, the, can the use that. you can use that as a, uh, as a metaphor the, uh, here, yeah. These guys can take a tremendous amount more pain because before you actually get to the individual, they're layered in fucking solid, squiggly, wiggly fat chunks to prevent the actual damage of the individual. That's Beto. right, you gotta cut through all that fucking whale blubber. Oh, oh shit! God. I don't think that made it through all the fucking slops of shit in that bag of blue skin right there. Ponderosa! But look at the mean kisser on this guy! Ponderosa taking advantage of the apparent weaponry laid around the ring here in a death match. Well, there's so much of it to grab it, just abuse your fucking opponent with. And you see him grabbing a big chunk of glass right here once again. No! Oh, shit! He did get a gouge in the head of his brother! His own fucking brother! He's the fucking nail for nail, tooth for tooth on his own fucking brother! The, the, uh, the fucking photographers love it! They, they're telling him what to do for Trey. What if I was Ponderosa, I'd grab one of those fucking photographers and stab their fucking ass with a Oh, no, no! He dig it through the head! That's your brother, Ponderosa! That's your own flesh and blood and Where are these two fat fucking lobs of shit's fucking mother right now? Look at him. Look, Look at him. him. He's he crying. Oh, he's shitting his bags. He he's shitting his fucking pants. He's shitting that fucking big size fucking 96 Yo, car. he's got a piece of glass in his mouth, a piece of glass in his hand, a piece of glass in his ass. He's stabbing his brother in the fucking face. This is despicable. Ponderosa on top of the uh, parent death match. Now he's got Egg Boy running for his life. Ponderosa just stabbing him in his face with the uh, glass. It's just, I don't even know what to think. Brother versus brother. Get out of the way, way, assholes. They're fighting. Look at this right now. They need to get the ring referee. Apparently, uh, can't keep control of the situation. That makes me want to throw my headset off and get in there and beat his fucking ass. Bro. Hey, you need to calm down, 3D. You know your blood pressure gets your fucking blood pumping too high, and then you're gonna fucking pass out it's on me again. It's nothing about that, damn it. I'm suspended from wrestling. Please you know the bleachers. I can't believe this shit. What's yeah. he doing? What's he saying? The crowd, get in the fucking ring, That's you right. fuck. He's not a wrestling big, match. Big ass gets really fucking tired. You know he's a big man. He's a big fucking round ball of shit, and he needs to sit out and rest once in a while. 
Ponderosa goes and gets them out of the crowd because these people are here to see a wrestling match. Listen to they it. Don't want it. They didn't pay good, hard-earned Japanese money to see him sit his fat ass down in the crowd and scream like a fucking woman. That's what they're there to do. Get back in the ring and give us a show, you fat fuck. That's Pick right. yourself up. Ponderosa still beating his fat ass all over, drop the glass out of his mouth, throws him in the ring. You're getting ready to see real wrestling only on Stranglemania. That's right, these two men right here, some of the most fucking idyllic fat boys I've ever seen. Ponderosa, one of the more aggressive of the two, is apparently going for a body oh, slam. and he, he got strength. him over. You know you gotta be a really strong fat man to pick a guy that weighs 962 Up pounds above the bar to him like bro. that. Here he goes, I the aerial acrobatics. Oh, the air was amazing. Imagine laying on your back and seeing that big round, large fucking flabby piece of fuck come flying at your ass, Guido. I died just from the sight. I didn't, jeez, I mean, that fucking big fat ass flying through there and kill me, crush me dead. He's going up again for round two here. I can't believe this. Somebody's got to do something. He's dropped. Oh, the Macho big elbow. Man elbow. It's I can't lucky. One, two, two and no. Oh. You know, it's really lucky for fucking Ponderosa that our sweet nose on the floor. Oh, he's shitting again. This is nice. What the fuck? You shouldn't be seeing this grotesque. This is off. Uh, you shouldn't see him uh, spitting feces out of his ass right here on national TV. And look at the oh. big scoop crane buster. One, two. two. Dirty. Oh! You can't pin Sweetenhouse that easy. Sweetenhouse is lucky he's got that. Wow, God, he punched him in the face for real. What the that fuck? That was apparently for real. He's going to get Ponderosa pissed. But they're lucky they have all these layers of fucking blubber surrounding their fat asses. They don't got the blubber on their face, Queen. Oh, that punch was real. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, oh that's a the ring. back lip style. I can't believe this. Sweetenhouse has reversed the situation off the ropes. What's he gonna do? The big man with oh, oh shit! Moonshot on top of the fucking rope. Oh my god, I can't believe it. All that weight forcing its way over the top of that rope and flipping it in the back of a tire. He went right for the roll of fat in the back of the neck of Ponderosa. Now he's got a piece of glass. Not just a piece of glass, that's a big fucking shred of glass. He's, he's gonna stick it into the head. Oh, oh god! Look at the photographers, they love it. Give me more. Look at him twist that. Get, get the blood. Twist it into the cut out of the fucking He's on the fire of the fucking Ponderosa. And Ponderosa's down. He's bleeding. He's gotta be bleeding that big shred of glass. Just gouging through the layers of fucking flesh on his forehead. Get these fucking fatalities. They're getting me mad, Guido. You better calm me down because I'm going out there and pushing cameras into assholes. I don't give a fuck. This is ridiculous. Hey, it's not a matter of me calming you out. If you don't calm down, your blood sugar will get high and you'll pass out. It's not that. I'm just burning. You quit poking personal stabs at my heart condition, you motherfucker. I'm just burning for the ring. That's the only reason I'm not in there kicking. Oh, oh my shit. God. Just breaks the glass right over his fucking head. Guido, Guido, God. Guido, I want to tell you something. What you're seeing is absolute hatred between brothers. I can't believe it. Who would hate their brother like this? Oh, oh God, another piece. Right over the fucking fat, lumpy, fucking, loopy, fucking, fat, shitty, fucking head of Ponderosa. Relax, Guido! I can't help it. I've never seen such a display of fucking lard in my life. This Relax, Guido! We are professional sports journalists, God damn it! You're here to commentate a show. Oh. Re -re Retain your sanity and let me know what's happening. That's what you're getting paid for. You see the double H's on the pants? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Heavy and hungry is what that That's right. For. That means I'm fucking mad hungry. Give me some food, you fucker. Look at that. The piece of glass coated in the uh, blood. Uh, sweet house on top. One, two. two. He went out oh. of the three count, but that rough was out of position. He didn't exactly uh, kick out of that there uh, pinfall, Guido. He just sort Look of shifted. Look at the took a flash hanging from the eye. He just sort of shifted the belly over, therefore shifting the weight of the... Uh, Intestine, the, the, the exact right, yeah. And then he's going to the top he's rope. He's going again. to the top rope now, just like his brother Ponderosa did on him a minute ago. It didn't work to you. What makes you think it's going to work for him? Get off the rope. He's going to flip on your face. Oh, my God. That fucker had to knock the fucking fat out of his ass right up to his neck. Didn't quite get the pinfall. Look at the female fans outside, disgusted by the fat rolls and present in this ring tonight. Oh, 
Last night they had the same match only they wrestled in thong bikini underwears. I wasn't there for that match. That's your preferences. I don't Unfortunately, I was, and the women loved them. I don't enjoy seeing Whoa, that wrestling. Oh, fucking thousand pounds on the top rope, too. No. Oh, I thought he had. Look, like he's fucking fuck. pissed. He's, he's like, you pissed. fucking ref, I'm going to kick your ass next time if you do that shit again. His brother isn't alive. His brother is dead. That's merely nerves that's moving him as we speak. That man is a dead man. Call the fucking morgue. This has gone too far. We've got to pull the plug he's on this one, He's with his balls now. He's probably pulling some of that shit out of his pants since he shit his pants like 40 fucking times so far. He's got to put it somewhere. We've got to draw the line. We have to pull a plug, Guido. This has gone too far. You've got two fat fucks, son. Look at him in the ring just shitting again. This fucking fat ass needs to learn how to control These his These men anus. are relieving themselves in the ring. You've got, uh, you've got barbed wire fat slimy fucks flying in all directions. Big, large fucking egg balls flying off ropes. I can't believe what we're seeing. This isn't wrestling. This is hell in a ring. That's right. And that's why they call it the last match. And now he's going to grab his brother. I wonder what kind of despicable moves he's going to do now. It looks like he's going for the barbed wire. Look at this. Up and over. Onto the and fucking barbed wire. And he doesn't just slam wire. him. He fucking scoops him and twists him around and slams him down onto his fat ass. Sweden House apparently. He has uh, reversed the whole situation with the one punch to the face, the real punch, and from then on it's been all Sweden House, Sweden House, and Sweden House. Well, yeah, because Ponderosa came in at first, just a big fucking house of fire, and then as soon as I start saw fucking Sweden House, he became a big house of shit. That's right, as soon as Sweden House punched him in the face for real. Look at this, he's making a sandwich out of his own brother out of barbed wire mesh. And uh, it looks to me if this is, uh, his fat ass is climbing the ropes. Whoa! He no doesn't prefer barely to call it a sandwich, so he calls it, calls it a, 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 a fucking in-between. Because if you call it a sandwich, he's going to want to eat it. Oh, oh so, shit. holy shit! Right out of his fucking brother, the, the fucking barbed wire just... Barbed it towards plants and he cuts out. I can't believe how the fuck did he This is Strangle Mania, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, is it ever? I can't believe he kicked out of that. He had barbed wire in his ass, he had barbed wire on his balls, and he had a big round, fat, sloppy ball of fucking heavy lead come flying off the rope and landed right on his fat ass. And what happened? He kicked out, we know. He you know, kicked out. You know, 3D, I gotta wonder. How much fucking blood on these big fat fucking bloody sacks of fucking fat? You know what they look like? They to me. bleed, they bleed, they never run out. Exactly. They look like a big round floppy ball of fucking blood. Blood. Sack. A big blood sack. A big balloon full of blood. If he gets one of those pieces of glass stuck in far enough, you can have a fucking massacre on your head. He could explode blood back. He could be fucking fat lungs flying and everything. What could happen? Now hit where the fuck is the ref? This is illegal. Bringing a big sheet of glass into the ring like this. Get it the fuck out, rep, you fucking idiot. What's he gonna, gonna do with like this? And I'm gonna take it out if I have to. We and know. I'm gonna take it out of the ref's ass. This has got to stop, Guido. He's got the glass in the ring. He's got his brother. No! Ponder also reverses it. Oh my god! Fuck. Look at the ref just fucking flying back on his ass. He don't know what to think either. He's just as fucking dumbfounded as I am. I saw a piece of glass lodge right into his ass. I can't fucking believe what I'm seeing. We know you've got to go in there and get the glass out of his ass. I'll be right back. I'm going down there, my fucking Sit self. down. You got a job uh, to do. Hey, we God. have to keep control here. Somebody's got to pull the glass out of his ass. I saw it. The fans, you out there saw it. The 2,000 plus saw it. I can't fucking believe it. This match has got to end. It's gone too far. It's beyond death, Guido. What kind of human being? What kind of big fucking fat slap of fucking bloody shit would do that to his own brother? This kind, Ponderosa, meth said. Ponderosa is here to regulate, and that's what the fuck he's doing. There he squeezed his balls. Did you see that? I see he tried to get a cheap feel up off his injured brother. He tried to squeeze the balls and get him aroused, hoping something would happen after the match. But that's besides the point. He's going to top rope again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he 
don't fucking stand as You don't belong badass. up there. You don't belong up there the fucking time, bro. What the fuck was he doing up there anyway? Doesn't he know he weighs fucking 829 pounds? He don't belong on top, He's bro. going home. He feels like a bitch. Wait a minute. Right. He's going up again. You Wait a minute. Get down. What's your fat fuck? Get off the fucking uh, 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 oh. Oh. God, all that weight down. Referee, one, two, three. That was it. The fat fuck Ponderosa victorious. Here. I can't believe what we just seen here. Fucking 3D. This big fat fucking butterball full of ass jumped off the fucking top rope. Did a fucking 360 moonsault and fucking splashed his brother's fat ass. I don't know what to think of it. These two brothers. I think you just disown each other because this is despicable. I can't stand it. I don't want to watch it anymore. This is not despicable. This is not unlandish. This is not unheard of. This is not. This is Wrestle Mania. Strangle Mania. That's <laughs> right, Strangle Mania. You better believe it. Look at that Lamin Aminubian deadly friend in the ring congratulating Ponderosa there. He turned into a pussy. Oh, oh, oh no, shit. he did. He's beating the fuck out of them though. Just still friends, he don't care about nobody here. You Strangle think Mania. just because he turned out his brother, he's going to be a puss with you so guys? where is he going? Fuck no. He's getting something out of the ring. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, just a tasty beverage for he's his He's a drink of Fago out there. He's been wrestling for a while. He's 20 minutes. He could use thirst. a nice little uh, rock and roll. No! Oh, shit! Holy shit! He blew fire out of his, out of his fat ass. ass! I can't believe it! He must have fucking popped the leak in his ass and the fucking nauseous fumes came out and ignited. Pulling his drawers down! Deadly Fred catches a boot to the ass! Deadly Fred wanted to see his ass! He was trying to pull the pants down! That wasn't Deadly Fred, goddammit! Whoever, Lama and Amanu, we same fucking difference! That you don't need to pull their fucking pants down! The They're... brothers have reunited oh right my here! God. The Ponderosa and the Sweet House back together! The Mushroom they Boys got Deadly again. Fred! What are they gonna do? Oh, oh my shit. god! They throw him in the already broken glass! That's gotta hurt! Deadly oh, Fred! Let this be a lesson! Keep your fucking ass out of their business, you motherfucker! Or you're gonna get last lodged in your ass! That's right! You don't fuck with that, the fucking mushroom boys! If you don't wanna get your ass kicked, that's the only reason why you'd even confront them! To get your ass kicked! And they never quit! They just beat ass and cut your fucking face with glass! And do fucking flips on the top rope and land their big fucking bunchy asses! The mushroom boys reunited here on Strangle Mania! That's right! Let's go down to uh, hear some words from the freshly reunited Mushroom Boys and hear what they got to say. They shocked us all. Maybe when he grabbed his balls, that had something to do with it. Look at this fucking asshole with the pee in his hand. Get the fuck you. out of there, you idiot. I told you, their hairstyles are at least four or five years this behind This fucking all. asshole, he's not even Oriental. He's some fucking idiot. He's some fuck fucking idiot. Here. He's got vanilla ice shaved in his hair. Get the fuck out of the ring. Let the real men in. That's right. Let's see what the mushroom boys have to say. The headhunters are back together. That's right. That's right. Not the Mikey Arno. You got what you deserve because you thought that the headhunters were going to retain each other. Uh, but let me tell you something. Blood is thicker than water. Uh, and we are the headhunters. That's right. We yeah. gave each other a battle. But yeah. we always came out on top. And Arno. Let's go to our battle royal again here. Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. The twenty-five dollar big ones, baby. Go to the winner of this one. That's right. It's any man's game here. You can see, fucking uh, they're big Larry all teaming in the up there. on. Uh, they're gonna team up on uh, big, Larry. big Larry again. What's he doing? Huh? What the fuck? Well, the fat guy goes out too. Big Larry and Malicious Mike eliminated themselves and like I a couple of pussies. I can't believe what I just seen. This shit's so stupid and whack. Fight right that. there in the fucking orange trunks beating on Hazel Spark That's is right. uh, Nate, Nate the, the Snake, snake and uh, the Masked Mauler. That's, That's right. Masked Mauler, for some reason, is barefoot. He couldn't afford the fucking boots, that asshole. Let me tell you something. Hazel Spark, a big fan of uh, heavy metal music from the, uh, whoa! Oh, here, here he goes! goes. the stink out through. Oh, Ooh. my God, the Mask Mauler. Mask Mauler working on Hazel Spark. Hazel Spark just eliminated Nate oh the Oh, my God. And then he goes well, out let's himself. go to our next match. We're going to see.
Lama Lama Numi squaring up against his partner and it says right there the shit hits the fan when he fights Deadly Fred. Lama Nama Numi and Deadly Fred. This match goes to the record books for one of the best matches in history because these guys love each other but under the circumstances they must fight each other because this is a death match. That's right, right now they're facing the spiked rap bat and the fucking thumbtacks. Deadly Fred, one of the more experienced uh, wrestlers. Uh, he comes from um, um, Grass Lake, Iowa, Guido. That's right, uh, over there in uh, beautiful, peaceful Grass Lake, he uh, began his training with his uh, fucking dad. That they used to call him uh, Deadly Frank. Right, Deadly Frank. Look at this. Deadly Fred and uh, Lama Nama Numi running to the ring. Who's going to get the spike bat first, Guido? Who's going to get it? It looks like Deadly Fred's got the bat. Of course, he's used to running through those cornfields in Grass Lake, Iowa. He knows how to run. He chased his dad out of Trekker all the way. Wow, oh, my God. Doesn't fit. Oh, Lama Nama Numi with the fucking chest and still nothing face on the Oh, Red. Don't hit him Fred. in the chest, you puss. Hit him in the face. What do you think Deadly you Fred win? not faded either? Deadly Fred's got his uh his uh parent uh uh his jeeves that they wear on the uh barn back home. That's right, when they're bailing the hay and they're fucking tending to the cows, they need some thicker pants to keep their legs warm. And that's what he's got. Underneath that he's got his long johns on, he's ready to wrestle, he's ready to wrestle. That's right, he's a wrestling champion. <laughs> <laughs> that you see, that, oh, slid up the shit out of him. That's bitch. real. Ooh. Oh, God, he was like, fuck you, yeah. motherfucker. He was like, you slap me, you son of a bitch. Boom. Oh, lays it on the big coconut crunch. That's what they call it. The big coconut crunch. <laughs> it's <laughs> the coconut crunch. Only here on Strangle Radio. It sends Deadly Fred out of the ring. Out of the Get the camera off him, guys. Hey, what's he doing? Don't worry hey, about that, hey. Guido. Get the camera off him. They're taking care of wrestling business. There he is right there. Deadly Fred with the coconut crunch. It sent, I mean, Lamin Amanumi sent Deadly Fred flying out of the fucking ring. And he's like taking him to the one of the other rings here. Sent Deadly Fred flying out of the oh. ring and into the chairs like a peacock out of a hen house, Guido. That's right, and that's exactly what he's used to. Like the fucking chickens that fucking dress in wolf's clothing and go out fucking roosting. That's what he's doing here. An exact, exact, exact example of what the kind of brutality that goes on in the barnyard. Guido, what? That, that fucking guy in the green mask? Look Guido, I, what? I who the fuck is that? We like, gotta I fucking know who he was if he took the mask off anyway. Take the mask off, you fucking idiot. Nobody gives a fuck who you are. Get that shit off. Go you back to the dressing room. Guido, uh, do me a favor. Give me your, uh, Give me your opinion on uh, uh, Lama Nama Numi's uh, wrestling uh, diversions. Well, the diversions of uh, Lama Nama Numi here uh, is, uh, you know, hey, huh? what he doing? Huh? don't worry about okay. that. Anyhow, there's other diversions of Lama Nama Numi. As he started out as a diversion master, and that's where he picked up the name the Lama Nama Numi star. And ever since then, he's had. Just followings of lots of people that really love him and his style of diversity. That's why they call him the Diversion Boy. Well, let me tell you something, Guido. Don't underestimate Deadly Fred. Deadly Fred's a parent, uh, can trap others. Two. No, you oh. can't get him like that, you idiot. Deadly Fred's uh, contrapulars are, uh, professional yet exhibit the amateur style of the... Right, the, right. No, he's they going have, to the top now. One, he's going to the top. This is to set up his finishing move, which is oh. called the Eagle Boy clothesline, and there it was. One, two. two. He might have had him, but the ref was out of position. You can't pin Lama Nama Numi that easy. I no, thought no. it. Now I'm not even a fucking wrestler. The referee could have been right under his ass and you wouldn't have had a three. Oh, the there. flying crane hook. One, two, fuck no. I you wasn't a bother costume. Him. He was acting like he had a pin count, trying to geek up Deadly Fred. Did that shit work? 
fuck no. What these pussies need to do is get out of this fucking pussy rig and take it to the town. Oh my god, that was fucking ruthless. Just almost took the head clean off the shoulders. Referee one, two, no good. They need to get out of this fucking ring. I don't know what they switch rings for. Take it to the tax. Get back in the death match, you asshole. There they go. He must have heard me from my commentating table, because he's taking it right back to the thumbtacks, Guido. Well, he had better, because if he does it, I'm going to kick his fucking ass in the thumbtacks. We're here for one reason. That's to bring you, ladies and gentlemen, Stranglemania. Stranglemania. And you got the ah. ringside seat right here. You're seeing Deadly Fred take out his own partner, his own boy. They're both a couple pusses. And they are Deadly Fred and Lama Nama Numi. Here we go with the real shit. He's trying to put his face into the tax. I don't know what happened. These guys are usually a team. Now they're trying to ram thumbtacks into each other's necks. What the fuck's going on here? Well, beforehand, they spread propaganda about each other. They go to Lama Nama Numi's dressing room. They're like, hey, Deadly Fred, Lama Nama Numi said you were a bitch. And then they go to, to Deadly Fred's. They're like, hey, Lama Nama Numi, Deadly Fred said that you ain't shit. Kick your fucking ass. And you know who's spreading that fucking propaganda, don't you? Check the sack. Check this sack, you bastard. You've got these two guys fighting. Look at them. They love each other. They belong together. These two men, they're both involved in a relationship that we don't want to talk about. But now you got them fighting. I can't fucking believe it. You got him choking his own, his, uh, blood and flesh. His friend. You got him choking him. I can't fucking believe what's going on. They, if they haven't took it in a normal match, Guido. They're in the okay. death match. That's right. Cactus Jack's putting the propaganda because he has no friends of his own. So he doesn't want anybody else to have friends either. Look at this. Deadly, Lama Nama laying him on. There he oh, is again. big patented coconut cruncher. I can't believe it. He's really laying it to him. He's got the thumbtacks where he wants them. He's got Deadly Fred where he wants them. And he's going up for the, uh, here he Whoa, goes. the front face smash. The uh. abdominal. And the fucking tax, you idiot. Not on the mat. The crowd wanted the tax. You can tell by their reaction. Lama Nama's not going to look like a puss. He's going to he's gonna give the Lama Nama maniacs what they want, and that's Deadly Fred's ass. Here goes another tanks. one of the tags. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. Reversal! Oh, oh fuck! Look at the back of his head. Look at the arms. Look at his back. He's got tags all over his fucking ass. No, no. Oh, another one. Stuck in his coconut, and he's gone for a cover. One, two, fuck no. Shit. Bullet. You still can't pin the Lama Lama Newbie star. Lama Lama Newbie showing what it's like to be a real man here in the Tokyo Egg Dome. Look at that! Oh, oh a reversal! Shit. Even though his hands are fucked, he's picking the tax out. Look at that fucking head of Deadly Front. Right into the tax, sticking out of his fucking ass, sticking into his fucking balls. He's got, look at that! The power bomb! God. Whoa! Right in the fucking tax! Deadly Fred screaming One. like a woman! Dude. Like a bitch. Oh. He kicked out. He didn't kick out. He was trying to shake the tax out of his balls. Referee end this fucking match. That was, look at this. What's he doing? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck. I can't fucking One, believe it. Two, three. He got to pin that fucking time. Of course he's pinned. Look at the look fucking at arms. This is crazy! Look at that, it says look at his fucking arms! I can't fucking believe it! Of course he's victorious! What's gonna happen now? They love each other! They are together! They have been together since I was a boy, Guido! They've been together since they were boys, 3D! Those motherfuckers met on the on Noah's Ark! That's how far they go back! That's and right. now you see him now! These two motherfuckers fight! Look at him, he thinks he's the shit because he won! You need your ass kicked, Lava! Lama Lama I'm the man to do it. Isn't the type to get his ass kicked. He kicks ass. He beats ass. He just fuck people up in the tax. And he pulls thumbtacks out of his ass. He says, Deadly Fred. Hey. You little bitch. I fucked you up by power popping you those tacks, you fucker! Is that what he said? That's right! I couldn't understand the, uh, well, my monitor was down. But let me tell you something right now. If these guys don't reunite, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. 
I love these guys as a team, God damn it! Get back together! Get out of his ass! Get back together! Look at this! Oh, oh my god, just the tax popping out of his back! The tax pulling out of his back! And look at the, look at his back! Just the blood coming down out of his back! Once again, going for the profit, throwing the shirt in the crowd. That's right, he's got his phone number stitched inside so we can get the profit too. Look at that shit! Thumb tax stuck in his ass! Everywhere you look, you got tax in his neck, his balls. Let's get some words from my Lama Nama Nubi and Debbie friend. Lama Nama Nubi. You fucked me up! He says, you fucked me up. Here, I'll bend over and you can have your way with me. There he is. The dress, get the cam out of there. They're doing something we don't need to see. What the fuck is this? Let them have their private moment. He says, go ahead, Lama. I'm he says, yours. He says, first, look at my fucking arm. Oh, God, look at this shit. Let's go to our next match. Hey. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Well, I'm headed down Wait a minute! Trail. What the fuck is going on? Where's the fucking production, man? What the fuck is this? This is supposed to be the next match. This is despicable. Somebody do something. I can't believe what the fuck's going on. Where did this shit come from? I don't know. But I want to find out whoever the fuck put this in here and fucking fire. Look at this. I can't believe what we're subjecting our crowd to. Excuse me, production man. Can we have your ass over here and fix this fucking technical difficulty? What the fuck is going on here? I'm getting pissed. I'm going to get up and I'm going to fucking grab the turtle shirt. Kick his fucking ass. We know we got to do something about this. This shit isn't supposed to be on our screen. We're supposed to see the next fucking match. Well, let's get to this fucking next match. Come on. Get this shit the fuck out of here. We've got the problem under control. Let's go right down to the next match right now. This shit, it wasn't supposed to be here. But due to technical difficulties, we had a small problem. It's over with now. Let's hear from Cactus Sack. How can you bear to look at Nakamaki? Kanono without getting a sickening feeling in your stomach. Yeah, it makes me sick to look at the two of them talking so nice to all of you. They've got you thinking they're nice men. Well, you may hate my guts, but at least give me the credit because I'm honest enough to tell them exactly what I'm going to do. Oh no, you're messing on a man's business. I am the master of the danger match, and I'm gonna wrap you up in barbed wire and send you back to your mom and dad. And Nakamaki, after my good friend Leatherface and I give you the double suplex inside the thumbtacks and make you look like a human pincushion, don't regret the day you ever got in my face, because at the end of tonight, your whole body will look like this. Bang bang! Bang bang! bang. And Leatherface has got a new toy he's gonna share with all of you. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? Whoa! Look at this guy, Guido! Look at this fucking nigga! Whoa! Oh, shit! What the fuck is he doing? He's out of fucking Let's control! Let's kill that guy! Get that fucking guy! Get him! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! He got him! That guy's the fucking shit! You know who that is, Guido? <laughs> no. That is Leather Balls. Wow. Leatherneck and Cactus Sack squaring off against Lama Nama And look at Deadly that. Fred. And there they are, the thumbtacks being poured into that box. What you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, one of the most gruesome oh, and the uh, horrifying matches in the history of uh, this sport. That's right. You can see they took the barbed wire uh, or the fucking ropes off of the fucking ring and replaced them with rows and rows of barbed wire just to stick into your fucking ass. Do you know why they got those thumbtacks in the ring there, Guido? Why? So they can drive somebody's face right the fuck in them. That's right. The blood, the guts, the mayhem, the fucking craziness. And there they come. Lama Navanubi and Deadly Fred, two of the most respected individuals in the Orient, 
making their way to the ring right now underneath the barbed wire. They don't want to get cut before they have That's to. That's right. Now we'll see them wrestling together as they should be instead of against each other as they shouldn't be. That's right. They're both wearing their wrestlers tonight and they're ready to take this right to the ring. That's right. With against their opponents. There he is. There he is walking through the crowd, cutting people in half. He's known to walk through the audience. Look at him just rushing people with that tape's off. He's trying to cut their fucking faces off and shove them in their ass. I can't believe it. He's clearing the bleachers. He's got them all running. Run for your life, off people. The fucking bell and just trying to get away from this fucking maniac. Look at him. He's known for just slicing through people, cutting individuals, whoever the fuck's in his way, one of the dirtiest players, and there's Deli oh, Fred. with the doesn't fit him. He's he cut him. cut his ass. He, he hit Deli Fred. Unfucking believable! You should have fucked with him. He got a fucking chainsaw. A chainsaw. Get the fuck out of here! That's right. That chainsaw loves cutting motherfuckers' heads. Look at this. Meanwhile, Cactus Sacks working on Lama Namanumi, and Leather Balls is working on Deadly Fred. That's right. And there's a remarkable, remarkable fucking ah, uh, what do you call it? A remarkable ah, uh, a likeness between a leather face and a bitch. He uh, definitely, well, that's, they, you're talking about one of the uh, rumors here running wild in the Wrestling Federation is that uh, Leather leather Balls is really a woman. That's right, look at it. Just a big I'm not saying woman. he is, I'm not saying he is, Guido. He just resembles no. a woman. He's got woman's hips, woman's lips, and women's tits. That's right, and uh, he just looks like one of those big fucking mamas. Just a big fucking fat flop of fucking bitch. You ever go to a truck stop, ladies and gentlemen, and see a big mama working the grill, sweating in your hash browns? That's what he reminds me of. A big woman underneath that human skin. And everybody knows a woman like fucking leather ass. It's a bitch. Let me tell you something. Did you know that the mask that Leather Balls is wearing, apparently it was made of uh, human flesh. That's right. I saw the match where he made it. He ran into the crowd, they chainsaw, cut fucking faces off, and sold them together, together right to his face. Absolutely despicable. Not even a mask, he just sold the flesh right to his face. This is so de- Get out of his way! This is so dis- Look at him. Apparently, uh, I'm not gonna give my judgment whether or not that's a woman underneath that. I, I don't know. Also, I don't really know if the woman that I said is really true about the- the-, the Human skin for face. It looks more like a fucking cheap Halloween mask to me. No, it doesn't. It looks like a human ass sewed onto his face. Oh, I say it was an ass that apparently made that mask. This is one of the gruesomest wrestlers. This is one of the most hardcore individuals on the planet. Who's to say he didn't make that out of somebody's balls? I don't fucking know. That man is a dirty player, Guido. That man is a dirty player. No woman is capable of that. Let me tell you something. Cactus Sack, look at him, stomping the fuck out of Lama Namanumi. Cactus Sack has his doubts about that man as well. That's right. He just paired up with fucking leather ass to get even with Lama Namanumi and Deadly Fred because he don't have no friends. After all, he's the one that started the controversy amongst the two anyway. Oh, that's a nice friend. Let me tell you, look at him. Taunting the crowd. Ooh. They love him. Look at this. Meanwhile, oh, Cactus Sack the big the fucking uh, foot drop. Fucking alley. Sends a uh, deadly fucking Fred out into the spikes, and that's what they're here for. Shit, they know what they were getting into. They know what they were about to face. Well, I don't know if deadly. Oh, well, he was a little gentle on him, for Christ's sake. That's a woman. That's that right. Matters. He's not gonna give his all. Oh, right to the fucking barbed wire. Your prediction might have been wrong. He doesn't give a fuck if it's a woman or not. Right to the barbed wire. You see the long bitch hair caught in there. You know what? Deadly Fred's a dirty player. I don't know if that's a woman or not, because Deadly Fred wouldn't give a fuck either way. That's right, Deadly Fred, the most deadliest of competitors, and he likes beating women down just as much as he does men. And right now, it looks like the big woman has Deadly Fred right where she wants him. What the fuck are we talking about? Deadly Fred ain't no dirty player. He just got his ass whipped a minute ago. Well, that's because he's always getting his ass kicked. He's got to resort to something. Look at that. There he goes, studying, working on the fade. Meanwhile, Cactus Sack throws Llama in the ring. Llama Nama Numi needs to have this Llama revival sooner. It's going to be mayhem in the well, ring. What it's going to take is for Cactus Sack 
Hit him in the head with the chair or punch him in the forehead or some of that nature because then Lama Nama Numi gets pissed off and starts getting wild with the headbutts, the coconut crunches. Right there shows you uh, your, uh, your experience in the ring, Guido. You can't hit him in the head because you know he'll kick your ass. That's right. And look at him. Oh, he got him in the back of the head. That's the thin part. That's the part they say that there's a hole in the back of his head. Cactus Sack apparently ramming his fist into it. To try to do anything to get the victory. And hey, look at the woman trying to kiss a deadly friend. You don't know if that's a woman. Quit speculating. Whoa! And the big fat bitch close lines her own partner. Whoa! This is in competition. I told you they had problems about each other. Check this out. I'm an I'm an with that. I'm an with coconut crunches sending them both to their doom. I'll tell you something. We don't know what's going to happen in this match. Lama Nama Numi and Deadly Fred came out here. They're probably causing instigating themselves trying to get Cactus Sack and his woman Leather Puss to fight each other. That's right. I believe that's the propaganda going around. But they deserve it for what Look they at did. Him. He's got somebody's camera. What the fuck? Leave the fuck Put that down, you asshole. It's not yours. You're supposed to be the fucking good guy here. Put that fucking camera down, you fucking dickhead. Now, wrestling fans, I ask you, who's the bad guy here? That's what the fuck I want to know. You see Cactus Jack breaking rules, yes, but you don't see him grabbing your shit and breaking it, do ya? Like fucking Lava Nava backstabbing fuck-faced Nubi. Lava Nava Nubi, I ought to come out of this retirement and beat your fucking ass. That's right, beat your fucking ass with the same camera that you took on that poor guy. Be a bad guy, asshole. We're here to, we're here for the fans. Hey, we work for you. Now you don't work for us. We're not gonna break your shit like that, asshole. Oh, oh there you go. The fucking suplex. It doesn't matter what I'm bad or good anyways here, 3D. I'm a fucking sports cast journalist, and that's all I do is report what I see. And I seen some fucking fat guy breaking a camera that pissed me off. You know something? Uh, the uh, cactus sack apparently, uh, that by way that hurt him. Uh, you want me to tell you quick. why? Because when he's at home, he has uh, particular training methods to avoid uh, to to uh, so-called warm him up for the to, for the death matches. Like for example, he sprays thumbtacks in his bed and he has to sleep on him all night. That's right. I had another method. He strips down to his fucking bare ass. Then he has his wife take a spool of barbed wire oh, and rub it in and out of his fucking ass crack. I can't fucking believe what I just saw. That was called the super head over the barbed wire drag down. You need to rewind that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll give you a couple seconds to view that footage again. Did you fucking see that? Holy cow! He took a dive right the fuck over the ropes, landed on his ass. Now, Guido, what were you saying about barbed wire and Cactus Jack's ass crack? I says his wife strips him down to his bare ass, takes a fucking string of barbed wire, and fucking rubs it in and out of his fucking ass crack, tumbling in the fucking skin of his ass, and she wraps around his nuts and tugs gently. Well, that certainly would explain why he's not afraid of the barbed wire. He don't give a fuck about it. Turns him on. Shit, look at him. After all, he's pulling it off the fucking ropes. It He's wrapping it around his fucking arms! That's yeah. right, another practice procedure at home. He puts it around his arm and sticks it in his wife's ass. What's he doing now? He's got his... No! Right across the face of Lama Nama. That's right! That shit was hideous! And it's there he is on the fried. floor! Look at his friend getting his fucking weak ass beat! That's all he's done so far is get his ass kicked, he ain't shit! Why well, he's trying to take it easy on the woman, for Christ's sake? What's he gonna do? Hit her? He's gonna get his ass kicked, that's what he's gonna do. Check this sack on the top rope with the bad wire. Off the rope. Find the clock. That, 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 that shit was real. That shit was real. That was fucking real. You don't think that shit was real. You call me, I'll come to your fucking house, wrap barbed wire around my ass, and wreck right across your fucking face. That's right, that fucking shit was real, you fucking assholes. You don't you think that, but fuck you. Fucking bitches. That shit was 100%. He raised it across this fucking eyeball. I raised the bang, 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 <laughs> yeah. Take those pushes in the ring and give them all what they deserve. Fire boy wrapped around the nuts and swung around and thrown in the fucking audience. That's fucking right. They grabbed people, they flipped all the bar boy and ripped their fucking ass apart. And you can see uh, that 
another catch right now with a steel chair. And he's what? What the fuck? Who do they got? They got Lama Namanumi. They're going to wring his neck right now. He's giving him the giant... bear cup. No! Shit! He don't the Guido. They just got to stop. I'm getting in the fucking ring. Don't try to stop me. I don't care if the commission suspends me. I'm kicking high tail. I'm kicking ass. I'm kicking ball all over that fucking ring. Three. I support you 100%. You need to do something about this right now. Listen to me. Quit pushing my fucking buttons, Guido. You know I'm suspended from the fucking ring. What the fuck are you doing? You're trying to get me in trouble. I ought to kick your fucking ass. Hey, bring me some of that bar wire. I'll shove it up your ass. Hey, you got double suplex going on right now. Man. That's right. Change the subject, you pussy. Whoa! God, right across the stomach of fucking Lama Lama I gotta you. calm down. I swear you need some kind of fucking operation. Say so you need to get your fucking spleen took it out. Just call leather fuck dick and you call cactus sack and I'll come and sting your fucking ass with barbed wire dick and write out your shit. I can't believe this. I've gotta calm down my blood pressure is up. Again. You're gonna pass out, you fuck. You just sit down and settle out. Watch the match and just say what you see like a real sports cast journalist. Look at that! Get out of here! Oh you god, bust! He threw him out for real. You know what? Deadly Fred is getting his ass kicked from the bell. I think he needs to stay the fuck out of the ring. That's where he belongs on the floor outside of the ring because he can't hit him. No! Don't up. hit him in the head, you <laughs> fucked up. You can't hit him in the head. Coconut, bang, crunch, bang. Unfucking believable. Bang, a third Back one. Forward, clean bang, out. a fourth one. He's hitting everybody. Oh, oh he shit. went for that leg. You know, uh, you know, uh, Lama Lama Nuli recently had that knee uh, reconstructed surgery we performed on it. That's right there at the Tokyo General Hospital where he was wrestling. Uh, I can't say who he's wrestling because it was the, the Because you don't fucking know. We don't have I'll the tell right you who he was footage. wrestling. He was wrestling the Crypt Keeper and the Crypt Keeper put his knee out. Cactus Sack knows it. Cactus Sack throwing on the figure six. He's got him beaten right now in the center of the ring. Referee, get over there. Cactus Sack knows everything about that reconstructive surgery oh. on the Achilles fucking hamstring, which is connected to the Vortex. The Vortex is blown out. He had to reconstruct it, and now Cactus Sack just trying to rip it right out of his fucking leg. Quit reading my fucking notes, you bastard. You're taking all my... And a deadly friend tries to make a comeback, but gets stopped by that big, large woman. Deadly friend? Nothing but a puss in this match. That's right, just out on the floor crying like a bitch. I can't believe Lama Nama Nubi even has him as a partner. Cause all you're seeing is him getting his shit split over and over by this woman and her fucking redneck man. Right now, stuff in her armpit, stuff in her titty down to the throat of fucking Lama Nama Nubi. Can't even breathe for Christ's sake. Look, Deadly Frank, get oh, out of the get ring, the you fuck out of here. You don't even belong in this match. Look at it. I told you to get out. Get out quick. And don't come back until I tell you to your pussy. You know what he's doing, Guido? He's stalling. He's out of the crowd having a fucking corn dog, having some chili fries with the fans, watching his partner getting his ass kicked in the ring. I can't fucking believe what we're seeing here at Stranglemania. That's right. He's just a big fucking it's outside of the ring, but right now we see leather fucking ass with the sleeper on the Lama Lama Numi. And what's Cactus Jack doing? He's, He's gonna throw it on his ass. Look at this. Bang! Oh. Where the fuck is Deadly Fred? Where the fuck is Deadly Fred? It's like this. Deadly Fred is scared of the barboy. He's good with those little fucking crybaby matches. One! Here he Two. comes again! He makes the save, I can't believe it! He Deadly actually did something! Friend. He actually did something significant! But now he's gonna get his ass kicked like he always does! He got fucking, he finally got enough courage! He knew he was gonna get his ass kicked anyway, so he tried something, and he got thrown Boom. right the fuck out of the ring! Deadly Fred can't do anything to save his partner! Nama Nama knew me taking a brutal beating in the ring! Whoa. Where's Deadly Fred? Two. I'll tell you where Deadly Fred is. He's in the fucking bathroom. He's in the dress room taking a shit, taking his own time, wiping his ass, not paying attention. You got a fucking ring. You got a wrestling match. Get back in the ring and help your partner. For Christ's sake, he's about to die. That's right. We got two competitors. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh fucking ring. The back of his fucking head. The ear. The barbed wire. The his ear. fucking ear is gone. They won. Two. No. He, well, look at Deadly Fred, you late fuck. He Somebody threw him in the ring. He didn't even try to get in. Bitch, go fucking get the rest of the fucking 
Shut up, Look at the fans have been beating his ass. ass. The fans have been beating his ass. They threw him in the ring. They said, get in there and do something, you puss. I can't fucking believe it. Look at Cactus Jack. Pull my leg. Pull my leg. Pull my leg. Pull my leg, you bitch. Oh, God. Oh. He was asking for a deadly friend. We just wanted to get his ass kicked. Anyways, I can't believe it. He's making some little bit of comeback here. Cactus Jack felt sorry for him. For crying out loud, he's been getting his ass. Leave the barbed wire alone. You don't even know how to work it, you puss. Look at that shit. Cactus Jack had to do something. Oh, that big clothesline by Deadly Fred. But somehow I have a feeling, no matter how much fire he ditches out, it isn't going to make a f***ing difference. Hell no, and he's a puss. Look oh, at Cactus that Sack. Big fire on the back. They set the whole fucking thing up. They're going to wring his neck out right now. Cactus Sack. Combusted wide open. Bleeding fire. I don't need to see his ass. Get another camera shot. Picking up Deadly Fred now. Mom and I'm a newly. Well, is that Deadly Fred back outside of the ring? That's he, where it belongs. He tells leather fucking ass to go out there and take care of it because now it's going to be woman versus woman out there. I'll tell you something about Deadly Fred. He's a puss. You know what he needs to be doing? Staying outside of the ring. That's right. Selling Lama Namanumi t shirts because God knows you can't be his partner. You're too much of a puss. That's right. Here it comes. Oh, oh Deadly Fred ducks in fucking cactus sack. Levels, fucking leatherneck. I can't believe it, folks. Somebody do something. He hit his own woman. Now you see Deadly Fred outside throwing him back into the ring. Meanwhile, Lama Namanumi taking a nap on the apron. I can't find. Oh shit! Look at this. Kicking the woman. He goes over to Cactus Jack. Now this has gone completely out of control. You I'll missed the tax. Flex. You missed him, you asshole. Hit the fucking tax. That's what they're here to see. What's Deadly he Fred thinks he's running shit now, but I don't give a fuck. He's still a bitch. There's no way he's gonna pull this one off. Right now, he's gonna go for the over the oh. back pile driver. There it was, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, I can't believe it. a big clothesline. He levels leather tits. That's right, Lama Nama Numi trying to get his fucking clothes off. Two, no. That was so close, but it wasn't enough. That's because he ain't shit. He ain't Still just a bitch, and I wish you'd get the fuck off his dick and quit jocking him just because he's getting a little bit of head now. Let me tell you something. Fuck him. He's still a bitch. Let me tell you something. He's on the head right now. Shut the shit. fuck up. You see him right now? He's kicking his fucking ass. The fuck are you talking about? That man is a wrestler. Yeah, I'm gonna watch what I this. Said. He ain't shit. He's, he's gonna nothing. slam sack right in the tank. Here it comes, this bitch. Here it Ah, you little bitch, right in the tats, I told you. Take your fucking ass back out of the ring where you belong, you little fucking pansy bitch. Let me tell you something. He was double teamed. Look at Leather Puss on top of him, just harassing him, just vile slamming him. I can't fucking believe this. That's right. He was double teamed by a woman. He's just a little fucking freaking can't take it to the woman that beat his ass. That's no woman, that's a man under that. Quit speculating. You don't know if that's a woman. Now you get off leather, it's his dick, all right? Or his pussy, whatever. Just get the fuck out of it and just fucking get off everybody's dick and just say what you see. What you're seeing right now is a double suplex by Cactus Sack and Leather... Oh, oh God, they broke the box. Just fucking broke five of his ribs from that. Just all the tags lodged into his flesh. Leather... Runs. One for no. a pin, one, no. two, and then Deadly Fred, what's he doing? Oh, oh, he got his leather sacks, fucking hair on fire. One, one two, two, three. Oh shit, Leather Clint was pinned. Pin. I can't fucking believe what we just saw. And guess who did the pin it? Deadly Fred. It was Lama Dama Nuni. It was Deadly Fred. Fuck Deadly, Deadly Fred. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck who did the pin it. They are victorious here. Well, That's Deadly Fred did prove to come out a little bit. And he came out of his cell. It just enough to blow fire out of his ass. Big fucking deal. Anybody can blow fucking fire. You know something, Guido? You're supposed to be a non-biased uh, announcer here. Well, I can't help it when I see a big pussy it's like Deadly Fred hiding outside of the ring. They just coming like, bam, get this fucking ass kicked. And now look at Lama Nama Numi, you stupid bitch. You sold me out the whole match. I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna kick your ass. They're not saying that, you asshole. They love each other. I fucking told you that. They have a special relationship. Something like that, where the people out there would never understand. Whoa! Over here, on fucking turn of the tide, and Cactus Jack clotheslines leather ass. I'm fucking believable.
They're, they turned on each other. Oh my God, Cactus working on his wife. Bang, bang. I can't fucking believe it. There you see. Oh shit, that was unfucking believable. But not as amazing as this match right here. The twenty-five dollar pot. That's right. We're down to three men in the ring right now. We got Surf Boy Richie. We got the Mask Brother, and they look like they're double teaming the Skinny Wolf. That's exactly what they're doing. You see, Surf Boy Richie, uh, uh, definitely a wealthy little stud fuck, and he's sitting there wrestling uh, the Skinny Wolf. And oh, oh shit, he's a Mask Brother. Well, it's probably better now he is. Let a crack at $25. That's right, and he don't need it, that fuck. He probably got $25,000. Go home, you robber's boy, you fucking puss. You've been eliminated. Get out of there. There oh, you see. Cheap shot by the skinny wolf. What you see right now is the masked mauler and the, and the gold uh, panties fighting the skinny wolf. That's right. And look at this, the skinny wolf with the big body slam. Excellent physique on this man. Um, he's definitely one of the stronger wrestlers here in the SWF, which is the stale, whack, fudgy federation. <laughs> That's right, the Fudge Federation. The Fudge Packer Federation. And, and look at this, he's just, he's just manhandling. Boom! Oh, look at that. And Almost at, cleared his head. There goes that physique that everybody here in the SWF loves. There's got to be at least 5,000, 6,000 people here tonight packed into this, this arena. He sends him up. But no! He's not this. eliminated yet! Watch this! Wait, he's trying to fuck his face! What the fuck's going on? Get your dick out of his mouth! What the fuck is this? That's he's trying to get a... It, God damn it! I this told is, you this is the Fudge Packer Federation! But we didn't pay good money to see this! Man, pull the fucking underwear out of your ass crack, you fucking gold fuck! There he goes! The Skinny Wolf eliminated! There's your victory! 25! Five big ones, baby, That's goes right. to the masked mauler. Let's go down to our good friend and get some words. You sure came out on top in that one. Excellent. The winds of fortune were with me, my friend. The winds of fortune. And the fire that burns in my heart. Fire in your heart. Uh-huh. Oh, you come from Sonora, Mexico. Yes, my friend. And you wear a mask. That... I do, David. That I do. What the fuck is that? Get that shit out of here. Let's go back to the real shit. Our main event, ladies and gentlemen, Drunk Terry Flunk, 83 years old, squaring off against the man you know well by now, Cactus Sack. That's right. And this is no ordinary match, handsome Harley Guestella. Guido, Guido, goddammit. Guido, this is the fucking main event. This is the exploding ring match. You got grenades, you got landmines, you got fire spikes, fucking blood, you got barbed wire. The barbed wire. And remember like we were talking about before, what the fuck are the people here to see anyhow? There it says right there on the screen, babies go to fucking bed, cause this is where the real men come out to play. Straight the big main event here, and we're gonna see these two men who've been wrestling all fucking day here in the main event death match. This is, they've been battling all day long, and it's narrowed down to these two men, Cactus Zag and Drunk Terry Flunk. Unfucking believable. Funk you, motherfuckers. That's right. And look, he's already busted open, hasn't even started the fucking match, and he's like, Fuck you, or funk you. You know what happened? Uh, he's not, he clipped his head on the barbed wire on his way to the ring, in oh, the okay. ring. It's a simple accident, we all make mistakes. But let's see what's gonna happen in this match right here. Drunk Terry Flunk and Cactus Sack in the main event of Stranglemania. And it looks like they're squaring off with a boxing match right now. And uh, Terry Flunk throwing some uh, weak looking punches there. Weak looking? One of those would send you right on your ass, Guido. This shit, Terry Flunk is a, from the Double Cross Ranch in Amarillo, Texas. He knows how to box. So what? He boxes boars, he boxes pigs, sows, he boxes horses, lambs, chickens. He grew up on the fucking barn. He knows how to fight. Fuck him, I'll box his fucking ass. And look at him. Oh, perhaps a little that bit that than easy, I Cactus Sack. Little bit smarter than we all thought, though. He looks like a genius, doesn't he? 
Oh, oh God, he looks so fucking smart. Smart enough to fucking beat his ass. Look at this. Cactus Saki's uh, looks like a little bit more better shaped than Terry Flunk, uh, Guido. I'm not sure about that. But I would say Terry Funk is in tremendous shape for being 92 years old. I mean, this guy's been wrestling since the turn of the fucking century. That's right, and he's wrestled the best of them. He's wrestled the great golden boy nature role. He's wrestled Sparky Sparks. He's wrestled the legends like uh, the Flying Folibule. That's right, he's wrestled uh, uh, Jerry S S fucking Springer. <laughs> He's wrestled them all. That's right. Everybody from the mass commander to the fucking fortified hooligan. Everybody here in this federation, I tell you. And look, at he's just egging on. Got the sack. He's like, get in here, you big fat fuck. I'll kick that ass if I'm old as fuck. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Guido. Cactus sack. And this man has tangled it many a times. I've seen him wrestle in brick wall matches. I've seen him wrestle in low nine millimeter matches. I've seen him wrestle in spike dagger fights. And you know what else? I've wrestled them both, and they both kicked my ass. That's right, they'll kick your fucking ass. Oh, my God, just like this. Look at him go to the flash of Terry Fox's fucking face. And look at this. He had some connected with cactus sack. It was skin. A string of skin uh, connected out of the barbed wire. A big chunk of fucking flesh hanging from the head of Terry Flunk's old ass. Let me tell you something. Terry Flunk acquired that wrestling uniform back in the 70s. He's got the disco spikes and the Funk U shirt on. What did I tell you? He got the pants when he was in the concentration camp in World War II. World War I, you asshole. Whatever the fuck. Let me tell you something, okay? If you were to get in the ring with that old man, he would whip your the young ass. Her. It was stuck into the fucking ring. You know, he needs to teach you, you little whippersnapper, a good fucking lesson. He needs to teach you something in wrestling. He needs to kick your little ass, show you how his flame still burns on, show you how his star still twinkles, motherfucker. Well, right kick your fucking ass. He's not doing too good of a job as you can see Cactus Sack just level on his face. I hope to God he doesn't hit one of those landmines because he's so old he probably can't even see it coming. Look at Look Cactus Sack. staggering. Right oh. across the melon. Look at this. Don't. Oh, oh my shit. God. It blows up right on his ass. You see the fire burning in his crack right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry Funk apparently hit one of those landmines, so to speak, that blew his ass right in half. That's right. Now instead of one ass, he's got two. And this fucker's just crazy. He's like so old, but yeah, he still kicks up. And every single thing that cracked the sack can dish up. Even though he's not got enough energy to, to, to dish anything out of his own. You know something, Terry Flunk's got a lot of fans here tonight. I think that uh, he's definitely the fan favorite among the women. The chicks love Terry Flunk, let me tell you that. Well, he's a real looker, obviously. Uh, uh, and um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, Terry Funk is obviously uh, a sex symbol among the Japanese people. Oh, yeah, you can tell by his balding head and his flabby fucking body. They love it. And there you see Cactus Sack taking some punishment from the Flunkster now. He's going for a parent. No pile driver uh, cricket crab crunch. There it is. Oh, he tried to get him on a mine, but it was faulty. He tried to get him in the power spin. Uh, Spinning oh, back. geez, and he's hooked on the fucking barbed wire. He's trying to bail out of this one, but he can't. The barbed wire is everywhere. Flunk is a man to tangle with, Guido. I've wrestled him myself, as I said before. He was victorious. I kicked his ass up and down the ring, but he always shocks you. He always shocks you. One of his uh, most famous maneuvers is the uh, spinal, uh, you, uh, the spinal twist uterus. Crunch, crunch. That's old. right. He crunches the uterus and fucking turn, making them do the spin, big round flip. What he does okay, is the, we're gonna uh, see a little flip going on here. Oh shit! It blew up on his ass. And look, you can see the fire still burning. The crowd is in shock, as am I. I am in shock to see Cactus Sack still tro trooping on through this match. Well, Cactus Sack is definitely getting a uh, world of punishment dealt out of him, but it's only a matter of time before uh, Terry Flunk runs out of fuel. There it is, the oh. scorpion drive thimble, right to the face. 
I can't. He played it on perfect execution, Guido. That's right. Right out to the cortex of the vertebrae. I mean, that'll snap your fucking cerebral arm in one second as long as it's performed exact to the T like he's going to do here again right through the ball. Boom! That, that move right there will drive one of his spines right out of his ass. I've seen it happen. That's right. Pop out. Right out, right out of his fucking hole. You know something? If if Terry Flunk keeps on this entourage of the uh, offense, you're gonna see it before you know it, Guido. Well, it's like I said, he's only got so much fuel on that old rickety body. You know, he's near 95. There you go again, talking about the age. He'll knock the young, the spark right out of your ass. You know that? He'll knock the life right out of your fucking ass, and you'll fucking you'll be like deadly Fred, a piece of shit laying in thumbtack out in the crowd somewhere. Well, we can see right here, he definitely is doing a good job of not gonna spark on a cactus sack's prickly ass. I wouldn't know if his ass is prickly. Oh! It's your own business, all right? Keep your private affairs outside of the fucking squared circle, okay? Speaking of the squared circle, I want to talk about a TV show to the fans of the Michigan area, particularly down rivers such as Inkster, Wyandotte, Taylor, E. Course, Detroit. Uh, the Squared Circle Wrestling Program with your host, Root Boy Rick Hernandez, airs twice weekly. That's right. But right now, we're back to all the action here. As uh, Cactus Sack is outside of the ring, beating on the fucking old Terry Flunk, who is inside the ring, now out. And he grabs a spool of barbed wire, and he hits oh. him across the head with it. Right across the melon. And you know, Flunk's melon is nothing like Lama Nama Numi's. It's a lot softer. It, with age, it turned a little more hey. mushier, jelly-like. The age thing. Drop I'm it. keeping facts here. Drop I'm not it. giving my own opinion. Just drop it. That, oh, my God. Cactus Sack just drops the elbow under Terry Flunk with the bar. My leader is pulling his flesh away from him. You know something? If Terry Flunk doesn't get him off offense soon, I think this may ha we may actually have a casualty on our hands. Well, definitely. I mean, wherever Terry Flunk goes anyhow, they got a casket and undertaker that are waiting for him any fucking way because he's going to die at any time because he's so fucking old. Listen to me, okay? That man right there, the man, by the way, Guido, in control of this match, grabbing Sack by the hair and throwing him into the fucking ring, the barbed wire exploding ring. That man is 107 years old, but he wrestles as if he was only 63. That man has the strength of a child. That man, look at him, right, he's left, punching him for right, real. Left, that man has the, the heart of a young stallion. Well, he might have the heart of a young stallion, but he's got the strength of a young mosquito. He's so fucking old and crusty, there's no way he's gonna win this fucking match. I look at Cut the Sack. Proven that he is the best. What the fuck is this? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is this? What the? Who the fuck is that? He's gonna stab him with his sword. He's gonna drive it in the oh. wrong side, you asshole. Turn the fucking sword around. Goes it the right way, and maybe it'll work, you fucking dick. Wait a minute. This is a fucking. He's not supposed to be in the ring. Referee, get his. Look at the size of that referee. What the fuck's he supposed to do? Get the fuck out of the ring. Let me get in there and kick some ass. Get that fucker out of there. And look at the double team action going on here. Boom, right into the... Oh, oh shit. God. They threw him right into a landmine. This is wrong. They're double teaming Flunk. They're double teaming Flunk and it's not right. The man can barely handle one person, yet alone two. But I don't know how strong that fuck was. Get out of the fuck. Whoa, man. the fucking shake, rattle, and roll neck twister. Two. Three. No. Oh, it's so close. so I close. gotta give Flunk credit. He got his crusty old bones to fucking twitch up. Just enough time to get out of that maneuver. Sag taking advantage of the apparent dusty 